Hello everyone, this is Draga, and today we're taking on three other dragons, because just one is enough, apparently. This was a very fun quest, but it was fairly challenging to get a run without a single card. They hit like three trucks. For Cabellios, as usual, we start buffing up. I'll just sharpen real quick as well. Saving up my wet fish fin just in case. I have speed sharpening chill here, so it doesn't take too long. Ready up, engage with the Soaring Ivory Blade, and here I go for a YOLO Discharge. This isn't always safe, but it's mostly safe, and it's some nice damage. Back for allows us to dodge that, close the gap, and keep pumping damage. Now Camilla's going for the counter. When he's not in rage, he'll jump 90 degrees away and then counterattack. So he can dodge that and punish. Usually if you do a discharge while his head's falling down, you'll latch the head. But then I had to get you one case where that fucks up in the run. So yeah, everyone can complain about just the latches, I guess. But you see it work properly this time. Dodge the counter once again. The double slash. Wait until the head drops down and ZSD. I hit the four leg, but then I ended up at the head. That's how it usually goes. Got the invisible topple here. And just ran out of amp, so go for a normal discharge with the head to build up some KO damage and build up amp as well. Really nice. Now he's really bad. Too bad this map gets the Inferno Springs music always. I like the Medius team. You can jump over that, <laughs> and I, I think that's the optimal punish, because otherwise you have to run really far away to dodge the Toxic Clowns. <coughs> Camillus gets rideable very fast, so I fucked up, didn't sharpen, okay. Launch at a wall, just won't launch, because I really hate Camillus' tie-down moveset. And I also got it all the way over here, so hopefully Kushala doesn't notice us too fast when it falls in. Got the KO from all that build up on the head, really nice. Really bad they're out of gauge, but really nice that free charge exists. And go unga bunga on the head. There's Kushala, but hopefully we're far away far enough away that it takes a while to notice us. I messed up using an explosion there, you can just use it properly the first time. Just be better than me. Locked out with the flinch there, I was about to get hit. Dodge the counter, here go for the Soaring Ivory Blade just to build up a ton of amp. And now he's preparing the Flying Puke attack. Let you the head, which is a bit bad because he got hit by the spit. But then you can Soaring Ivory Blade away from the Toxic Clowns and still hit Camellio, so that's fairly nice overall. Kushala noticed this, so now things get crazy. Almost carded there. That's what I meant by saying this quest was fairly challenging to not die. I kept attacking Blizzard and his dad, that's really nice, so now we can just focus on Kushala. Sharpness is really low, but I have to wait for a proper opportunity to sharpen. Which is right now, we can just move away from that double bite and sharpen them. Using one of the wet fish, this one has to be fast. Fucked up dodging that, but okay. Dodge this and we can attack. Kushala stops to bounce after that dive bomb. Dodge this, and I usually go for the swing on her blade when I dodge the bites to the side because the hind legs are pretty bad hit zones. Dodge this, and then we can attack the head quite a bit. He stops to bounce after the attack, but that flinch moved him away from us, otherwise, I'd get a clean ZSD to the head. Once again, dodge to the side and swing on her blade. Ah, uh, hopefully he would face me, that's too bad. He does a single pause land followed by the flying dragon claw, he does that sometimes. It is nice because he stops to taunt and he can do a lot of them to the head. Nice ZSD there in the rower, nice stop pole and nice soaring urban blade. Now we go wombo comp on him. Reload and ZSD the head once again. And this one was a bad one, sometimes he does that, too bad. If it did any other move, that would have been really great. Uh, life doesn't always go our way, right? Black wins up, and when he does attack, he always goes for the multiple tornadoes. And we can do this, which is pretty cool. It looks like we'll be hit, but we aren't. So I don't get to complain about hitboxes in this game, right? 
shall is mountable and we didn't proc the Ryan instantly so I can resharpen and bump it into some walls. I actually like Kushalos tie down moveset a lot, so I go for all the wall bangs, keep it tied down as much as possible. But here I fuck up a bit, I get too excited about the pillars and get Kushalos down here, which is bad. This is near where Teos responds, so Teos will notice us really fast. This is the head, then get the KO there, so stay down. Unfortunately, the Black Wind topple with the KO, so it's not too good. But it's still kind of decent, right? At least it's not standing up. Yes, 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 it gets up. Teostra is here, so shit's going to get real really fast. Exploded just in time to avoid that air shot. Really nice, feels really epic. And I did the YOLO ZSD there, thinking maybe Teostra would notice us, maybe the Whirler. So I wanted to be safe from that, but the downsides are almost dead now. I could poke your head there, but I'm at too low health, so I prefer to just stay alive here. Dodge this, Grimmer with a taunt, and the flint moving it away. Got scared of the air blast there, so I got some pretty bad positioning while dodging there, and the user noticed us, <laughs> shit's going down. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to stay alive. You have to wait for whatever opportunities you have to attack when both of them notice you. It gets really, really chaotic. Zip to Shala and his dad, so this is nice. And now it's just Toaster left. And I think he's the hardest of the bunch. I'm actually not running Mind's Eye here. So that makes Toaster all the more interesting. Because usually by strategy to just... Uh, attack the hind legs with mind's eye or the four legs if, with green sharpness. And uh, I'll just use the same strat, but no mind's eye. No room for that on this set. I thought I'd rather prioritize damage on Kabidius and Kushala because they're two monsters and Deus is just one. Uh, th that was a bit yellow. You can't stand in front of Toaster. Don't do that. Zip back in. Just do some quick pokes and get away from him. Like this, a few pokes. Okay, he's going for the explosive bomber so we can jump over the explosions and attack. Really nice. Here I go for the YOLO Surrender Blade again. Then he's not in blast mode, there's a chance he'll jump and that can hit you, but I got really lucky he jumped under me, so that was nice. Go for the YOLO Discharge here, I just want to build up KO on the head, and the Discharge does hit own independent damage, so it'll do a lot of damage even to the legs or body. I keep attacking, really scared of going in front of him. But the first air of a topo, which is really nice, it can pump up a lot of damage on the head, which also builds up KO, so that's doubly nice, right? Finish with ZSD for more damage and more KO. And now he goes rightable, so nice manual reload there. Really saves him from accidentally blocking the right too soon. And you can just switch Charger into Sword Nerve Blade to the head to get full gauge and more damage to his head. Too bad I ran out of amp just after the Sword Nerve Blade, so no way to deal it out from that. Jostra is also fairly annoying, but kind of tame while tying down, so I just want to get all the wall bangs I can. But it turns very widely, so I actually missed the last wall bang there. He, got, he fell off just before hitting the wall. Perfect so discharge there for the KO, which I get, but I, I believe I missed the actual explosion there. Whoopsie. But I can still go Woonga Boonga on his head and do nice, I hope. Go for the discharge here because he's surely going to lower, which he did. I have no idea how it ended up on his four leg, but okay, we dodged the rower. Attack this, and I'm trying to get off this corner as much as I can because the visibility there was terrible. Like, I could have died many times over. Fucked up with that dodge. I went for the Mega Potion there to save Max Potions, but I should have been for Max Potion. You don't even have to look at Yosra to know when he skids away, you have to jump. And whatever he follows up, you can jump over. The explosion is most epic, but his other blast attacks will also have been jumped over very safely. 
going on the usual combos, finishes is the as usual, then no booster wore off, so you're past the 10 minute mark. No gauge, can't see a C back in. I mean, sorry, every blade back in. And Toaster is almost dead, but I'm also fearing for my life because Toaster is scary. Heal up, poke him, and dodge the dive bomb. Oopsie. Quick poke and get that little hell out of there. And we can jump over this since I wasn't committing to anything. Very nice. And his dad. Well, that was the run. Three Elder Dragons. My initial goal was shoot 10 minutes. <laughs> I was having a really hard time not carding. It, it, it gets very chaotic once each of them spawns and the other one's almost dead but still alive. And sometimes they notice you really fast and shit hits the fan. But it's a nice class overall. I like the chaos of these class, even if they're hard to speedrun. This set's my usual Tigrix switch hack set, but I have Windproof to do with Kushalo's Wind and Black Wind. You can run just Windproof 1 and be okay and just deal with the Black Wind. But I went for Windproof 3 for consistency. It's already 3 monsters here, so I don't need any more inconsistency than I have to take, right? I also consider using the Vols tracks or Ibushi switch axes. But Tigrix felt stronger at the end of the day, and fast, fast Amp was really nice, and getting these three KOs was really nice, even if the Kushala KO was wasted by the Black Wind. So yeah, I, I felt like Tigrix Switch X was the best choice, even if False Tracks and Ibushi are pretty respectable themselves. And as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. See ya! Bye bye!